Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a morph operation. So here I go to the new operation, 3 slash 5D advanced, and here is the morph. Okay, <clears throat> I will choose this uh, spherical mill for this operation, like that. Let's say it will be 30 millimeters spherical mill, but I will change also the length. Let's put it to 150 just to be sure that it's enough okay next uh, what i need to do is to set the job assignment define to or to define the job zone of this operation so first i will select this curve this space as a machining surface this will be my first curve this will be my second curve and i press run when i press run I see nothing. Why? Because uh, due to the fact that the rotary table is located uh, right in front of the robot, we have a problem here with ridge zones. It looks strange, may, may sound strange from the first time, but if you are, if you have some experience in robot programming, you know what I'm talking about. The robot cannot reach that. Can we see? what's happening. So here is the moment when Sprutcam X uh, specific robot optimization toolpath is uh, starting to act. So first I will show you the basics. Uh, so this, this, this one which is called 6 axis control. So we can adjust this magnet point to set the orientation of the tool around tool axis through the toolpath like that and just recalculate now we will have a result already but let's change a, a couple of things uh, first i will i will adjust the step and make it not 20 but 60 percent to make a toolpath a little shorter yeah to save time and next i will adjust the tool axis orientation from fixed to normal to surface which is considered uh, when you're making a morph operation. Okay, that's uh, almost it. Let's see on the simulation what's happening. We can see that now our rotary table is not alternating. Yeah, there is was some collision, but we will not take uh, it now. Let's just see what what's happening. Yeah, we can see that our table is not moving. How to make our table move? No problem, we go back here and here under 6 axis control we have rotary table vector. So it's by default it's some automatic uh, setup which is working sometimes, but if it doesn't work in your situation, you need to set the axis. What's this axis? This is the tool axis. Here we have positioning mode tool axis. So we are choosing the direction of the rotary table corresponding to the tool axis and we will set it plus z which means that rotary table will also be trying uh, to uh, point to the uh, to, to uh, rotate in such a way to be uh, parallel to the tool axis okay let's see the simulation ah sorry sorry i must turn on this one I believe it's E1, yeah, we need to turn on this uh, to allow Sprutcam to alternate the rotary table in this operation. Yes, this, this is how it looks like. Reset the workpiece and run. So now we can see that uh, the tool is still normal to the surface, but its axis at the same time is all, always vertical and the alteration is provide by, provided by the rotary table. In many cases, this is exactly the toolpath that is required. But it's not all I'm going to show you. The next is the most comprehensive tool, which is called Axis Map. <laughs> 